Hello friends, my name is Maureen and I write books. A few weeks ago, I finally upgraded from Scrivener 2 to Scrivener 3. I love this program, I've been using it for years and have nothing but great things to say about it. However, in my upgrade, I ran into a problem. When I start a project, I never know when I'm going to wind up titling the book. So I will usually use some sort of comp title. Nine times out of ten, it's a song or a reference to a song. By the time I'm finally ready to export my work and start sharing it with people, I have to go in and change the title. And it's a simple thing and it was really easy to find in Scrivener 2. However, in Scrivener 3, I ran into a problem where I couldn't figure out how to do this. It took me way too long to figure out this trick, but now that I know it, I'm going to share it with you. So way back in Scrivener 2, in order to change a pro project title, you would have to actually go up to Project, Project Settings, and there you had an option to change the title to whatever. However, when you click on it now, you get this. So yeah, nowhere to be found. Instead, for Scrivener 3, it's in a way more clever location that makes much more sense when you think about it. So you can do this one of two ways. You can go up here to File, Compile, and that'll bring up your compile settings. Or an easier way to get there is if you go up here to this little icony thing, Click on that and it brings up the same settings. So now that we're in the new compile menu, what you want to do is click on this tag thingy here and boom, that's where it is. So you can change your title. Your abbreviated title is a keyword that's going to go in the header of your exported file, your compiled file. Um, it's usually one to two words that are that's in the title that also references kind of a theme. Um, so for this one, we'll just do pride. Author or authors, you know, if there's more than one person, you want to include them. Um, so put that in. And forename and surname. This is developed by a British company. So forename is first name for you Americans. Surname is your last name. And that's all it is. And even if you're not ready to compile yet, an easy way to save this is make sure that this is set for print, hit compile, and just cancel out of that. And then the next time you go into your compile menu, your information is still there. So super easy, um, really straightforward once you figure out where it is. And yeah. If you enjoyed this tip and want to see more like this, or have any questions on Scrivener, let me know in the comments below, and I would love to make more videos like this. That's it for now, and I'll see you soon.